Welcome to Quick Bites. Sim the World here making five star dishes in Cooking Simulator. Today we are taking a look at the grilled tuna with orange salad. So to get started, let us take our tuna filet. We are going to season it with five grams of salt, five grams of pepper, and then we will season it with five grams of dried thyme. And then take this over to the grill and we'll throw it on each side for um, 80 seconds. Just want to make sure five grams of each hit the grilled tuna. You can see some of the time went off to the side. All right, so the next thing we need, we need 100 grams of orange cut into 20 gram pieces. As you can see, I have that here. That's not a whole orange, so make sure you're cutting, you know, the pieces you need. Same with the onion. We have 60 gram pieces uh, cut into 15 gram pieces each. So that's basically an eighth of uh, eighth pieces of an onion and a portion of the orange. Uh, we're going to put that all together and we need to season it with five grams of uh, salt and five grams of pepper. I like to space it out just a little bit. Make sure not everything gets hit with the same thing. All right, perfect. Now we will take 20 milliliters of olive oil and we're going to put it in a bowl. Careful, it pours quick. Now before we do the white vinegar, I'm going to come over here. The tuna is almost done, almost ready to flip. Yeah, once it's finished, we'll flip it. And next time we take that off, it should be finished. But as the menu instructs, we need 10 milliliters of white vinegar. And we'll pour that in as well. Again, this pours quick. So be careful. Sometimes it's worth pouring in a separate bowl and mixing together. Now you can't put the uh, oranges into the mixture. You need to use your advanced controls and drizzle it over top, which means just basically dumping it as so. We will plate up the orange salad, which I've personally never tried such a mixture. Uh, oranges and onions and vinegar seems like an odd combination, but perhaps it's something people enjoy. And now all that's left to do is wait for the tuna. Now, of course, we cannot forget at the end, we're going to garnish it with eight grams of oregano. In some of my testing, I did forget it the first time through, and that was kind of unfortunate. Um, otherwise, it would have been a good dish. So the tuna is cooked. We'll cut the heat before it burns. You can put the tuna on top and find the oregano. They're four gram pieces, so we just need to throw on two and it's ready to serve. Will we get our five stars? Let us see. Ooh, we were so close. What did we get ding on? So everything's perfect. Um, <laughs> they just decided not to give us five stars because they could. So I, I imagine it's probably because of some sort of issue with the mixture not being poured perfectly on each piece or the onions not being exactly 15 grams. Uh, since we're in the sandbox mode, we don't have any of the skill points enabled. So it's very, unless you do it ac accurately and specifically, you don't get the padding that you would in the campaign. So if you're playing through the campaign and you get to the point of unlocking the you know next tier of the grilled tuna, you should have enough skill points that it'll cushion your score and you'll get the five stars every time. All right, so you can see I did actually come back through and try to get a little bit of a better cut on those onions, see if that was our issue. Get a little bit of a better drizzle. 
Trying to figure out why we didn't get that exact five stars. So let's get the, it's 61 grams, so I was off by one gram, but I think that's a little closer than what we did before. Let's see if this works now. Yep. So it was the cut of the onion. Just goes to show you how specific this really needs to be. And, and we still miss that little tip probably because, you know, there's one or two extra grams of this or that. So just to show you, we can get the five stars. It's just very difficult. So other than that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.